It's 4.30 in the morning, and I just found out last night Whistling Diesel's coming to Alberta. That means I got 17 days to design, print, and install new custom 3D printed headlights if I'm gonna be in that show. My original plan was to buy some aftermarket headlights and use them, tape them, spray them, whatever, and use them as like a base to 3D scan, but they're super expensive. Instead, I'm gonna pop these guys off after work and try and scan them. So yesterday's scans didn't work at all. So what I did is I did a bunch of research while I was at work on coffee at work. The scanner itself, it needs to find patterns. So that's why I have a bunch of tape taped randomly on the front of the headlight, because the smooth surface I kept losing tracking. So today I'm gonna try with the tape, a bit of dry shampoo, a hard surface, and I'm gonna try and just do one pass instead of overlapping. And I hope that'll make it a bit uh, better. We'll find out. Day three, so it's 6.30, I worked a bit later today, so I'm just getting started back on designing at home. So I'm gonna work on it right now and hopefully I can get it designed today and then start printing tomorrow. Day five, 10.09 p.m., I finally got the first slap being printed. This is more of a test print because I heard that the sides will warp in vase mode uh, if you make them too thin. Hopefully not. Hopefully this works out okay. It looks good so far. Day six. I woke up today to find out the slats did not work as a straight piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redesign these so I can have a honeycomb uh, or just straight lines, kind of like a garbage can, and then I'm going to reprint it. And I also picked up these LED off-road lights. I chose these lights because what I want to do is tint them. So later on, I'm gonna be tinting them, but I got them so I can confirm the dimensions just to make sure it can actually kind of bond to it. This is huge. Hey guys, so we're just finishing off day 12. I've been printing like crazy. One of my printers was down. I finally got it up and running. I'm hoping to have everything printed Wednesday night, which is I think day 15. I'm getting really down to the wire here. There's not gonna be any testing. I haven't done anything with the lights. I've just been fighting with the software. This week I have um, 12 hour days and an hour and a half commute. So it's gonna be interesting, hopefully, Hopefully I can get this sucker done here. On the bright side, I got this guy printed and the fit is working out great. Holds it nice and tight. Hey guys, so it's 5 a.m. I have to leave for work, but I finally got the two last prints started. So when I get home, hopefully it all works out and I can finally start assembling tonight. Hey guys, 11.20, Wednesday night. I got two more days until it needs to be done. Today I got all the base fittings pieces on and I got the wires run for the LEDs and the LEDs on there. Two days left, so we'll see how it goes. This is everything I need to wire in to get the LEDs to work with the headlights. These five are step down converters. They'll be able to take in 12 volts and then put out five volts for the LED strips. I need five of them 
because each LED strip is about 50 LEDs, which is about three amps, and these are only good for three to four amps. This is also a step-down converter, but it's a USB step-down converter, which will be used to power the ESP32. I'll be able to install WLED on this, which will then be used to control the LED strips. These are level shifters, so they take the output from the ESP32, which is at 3.3 volts, and then they change it to five volts so that it can go to the LED strips and work fine. So it's day 16, uh, five in the morning. I was just about to get ready for work, and uh, my wife's gone into labor. So I'm having a baby today. Okay, back to the headlight. So I missed the truck show, but that's okay. I'm gonna work on finishing the headlight and then this will be my first prototype so that in the future, I can use everything I learned in these 17 days in order to make it better. So you can see it. I don't know if that's uh, cool. Oh. Okay, hold on. Just stop. <laughs> <laughs>